Where is it? Whoever it is, go away, because nothing you can say will make any difference. Any difference to what? Mary, what is going on here? Bob sent you up here, Delia? No, Bob didn't send me up here. I was looking for Johnny. We were going to go over to the hospital to pick up Frank. He's downstairs. No, he's not downstairs. Mary, uh, would you mind telling me what all this is? I'm leaving. Yeah. For where? I'm not sure where. Anyway, any place away from Dom. From Johnny? Yes, my father, who has suddenly decided that I am 10 years old and too dumb to come in out of the rain. Or uh, too dumb to decide for myself who I should and shouldn't love. I'm gonna scream if I don't find it. Mary, calm down, calm down. What are you looking my for? My blue robe. Oh, I got your blue robe. I borrowed it. I spilled coffee down the front of mine. Look, I'll go get up. Never mind, never mind, Delia. I'll do without it. Mary, would you just mind telling me one thing? I don't understand all this. You're mad at Johnny for something. What do he do? He threw Jack out of the bar. When? About half an hour ago. I wasn't here. Why do you do that, Mary? Oh, I think it's because I fell in love with Jack and didn't ask permission first. You are in love with Jack Finelli? Yes, it sometimes happens that way. Look, Mary, you don't have to be sarcastic with me. I don't know how I am supposed to know these things. Nobody tells me anything. Are you really going to leave? You bet I am. Have you told your mother? No, I can't tell her. I can't find her. She's at the bakery. She's at the florist. I don't know where. D, hold this time. Look. Tell Frank that you were leaving. No. Well, Mr. Ryan, we're glad to see you go. <laughs> but it doesn't mean we won't miss you. I think everything's in here. Well, it's not as if I won't be here twice a day for therapy. Right. Where's Dr. Ryan? I made a mistake. I forgot and made some phone calls. After the bill was paid, he went down to straighten it out. We may never see him again. <laughs> what do you mean? The cashier's office is known as the Valley of No Return. <laughs> hey, look at that. Hi, Doc. People are going to think you're in a hurry to get out of this place. <laughs> Hello, Hello, Mr. Mr. How are you? Good. Now, listen, your mother and Dee will be here in a little while. I, I just had to get out of that place. What's the matter? What happened? Ah, nothing exactly. I just had a little run-in with your sister Mary, that's all. I'm sorry to miss Frank's homecoming, and I'm sorry Mother's going to be upset. I'm sorry the whole thing happened, but it's not entirely my fault. You know, it's really weird, Mary. A lot of things, Dee. Well, yeah, that's true. It's just that, uh, right now, you seem to be in the center of a lot of trouble in this family. You know, I never thought that they yelled at Mary Ryan. I thought I was always the one that they were yelling at or about. <laughs> it just seems funny. I don't see what's so funny about it, Dee. Look, I didn't mean it that way. Um, Mary, you know that. It's just that I can't get over you and Jack. I just didn't think that you'd get serious about anybody yet. Neither did I. You know, he's just kind of different from any of the guys that you usually see, you know? Yeah, I do. Which may be part of the trouble as far as Da's concerned. Goodbye, Dee. Mary, come on, don't go yet. Please, just wait. Hi, Mayor. Going somewhere? This isn't exactly the homecoming I expected. I know it isn't. Will you talk to me for just a minute? It won't do any good, Frank. Maybe not, but I'd like to hear your side of it. Dee, may I have a few minutes with Mary? Sure. Mm. Welcome home. Thank you. I'll be downstairs.
He didn't mean it. How do you know he didn't? You weren't there. All right, he meant it. But if you give him a way to back down gracefully, he will. He's in an untenable position and he knows it, Mary. Why do I have to make it easy for him? Because he's your father. Because he's even more stubborn than you are. Because he's more upset about this and he'll let either one of us know about it. And because he loves you. Oh, Frank, don't try to blackmail me. I wasn't, Mary. He's told us to think for ourselves since we were this big, right? We could never do anything that everybody else did because we were Ryans. Ryans think for themselves and act for themselves. Ryans take chances and run risks and stand up for what they believe in and make big choices. Well, terrific, because the first time I think for myself and it isn't a reflection of his thought and his belief, I'm wrong and I'm not welcome in my own home. Ah, he didn't say that, Mary. He said Jack wasn't welcome here and that's the same thing to me. Hey, look, just try to calm down a little bit, will you? I can't say I don't understand why Doc feels the way he does about you and Jack. I... I don't think falling in love with him was the smartest movie you ever made, but... Frank Ryan, the... how can you sit there and say that to me? When you told me about you and Jill, I did my best to understand and be supportive and loving, even though I thought you were taking a big chance on losing everything that you've worked for and believed in. Furthermore, one of the reasons Dahl despises Jack so much is because of what he wrote about you. Now, there's no way I can explain or defend that without being disloyal to you, so I haven't. But you would think that when I need a little support, I should expect to come to you first before anyone to get it. You're right about that, of course. Oh, honey, I don't want to get mad at you. I don't want to hurt your feelings or ruin your homecoming. But I cannot stay under the same roof with Da when he's behaving that way. See you. 